Revelation 932. From the 27th of May 1939. Voice of Conscience. Work of Redemption on Earth. Let this be a warning to you that you listen more to the voice within you, because it is the demands of the world that drown it out, and in the world's business, you do not pay attention to the divine demands that are revealed to you through this voice. And therefore the earthly struggle is the only means, because it is the most likely to cause you to consult with yourselves and this can be beneficial to your inner life. But there is an exceedingly great blessing in constant listening to oneself, and this contributes immensely to self-improvement, for man seeks to give an account for all his thoughts and actions and to bring them, into connection with the destiny imposed upon him. And even much more, are man's thoughts stimulated regarding direct announcements by the divine will, these will agree with what man himself perceives in form of the inner voice, the conscience. Every right thinking person will have to affirm these announcements concerning guidelines, which every person should accept and follow. In no man's heart will the divine will make itself felt in the opposite sense. It will be demanded of all always and constantly the same. To live in the love for God and for the neighbor. And everyone will deeply recognize the injustice of his actions if he acts in a different way that is contrary to the divine commandments. The great community of those who are active for the salvation of erring souls, are in closest connection with the eternal divinity, because to take part in such redemptive work, it is necessary for them to also become partakers of the graces of the work of redemption in a certain degree and they have already found the way to God, now stand in full knowledge for their part, therefore are executors of the divine will in fullest consciousness. Therefore, the human being who serves the Lord on earth in such a way that he willingly takes care of the erring souls has fulfilled all preconditions to attain a certain degree of maturity, because he now does everything on earth God's behalf, since his will influences him constantly and the earthly child consciously and voluntarily complies with this divine will. And again the question arises to the human being, which office the eternal divinity has given to the human being, whose task it is to work redemptively and it cannot be pointed out sufficiently that every activity brings about redemption, which is love in itself. Only love can mean redemption, only in love God himself works and therefore, directly, and everything what God works, must finally bring redemption to the unredeemed beings. Because every work of creation originated through the love of God only for the redemption of all spiritual, which is in banished state through their own fault. The spiritual state of people on earth does not allow a complete redemption as long as love is switched off in all thoughts and activities of man. But vice versa, a man who has become completely love, can have a strong redemptive effect on his environment by influencing it mentally. In deepest agreement with the eternal Godhead, he can make all power from God his own and with the help of this power, assist the beings around him and likewise bring their spirit to awakening, and the slightest prayer to the Father, requests this power. However, the eternal divinity does not allow that the way to knowledge is completely bypassed, that therefore a being achieves the purpose of earth life completely without own striving and effort. The will to do the right thing must drive man to abandon himself to the divine work so that the power of God can be expressed precisely through the earthly child who is active in love and destined for the redemption of erring souls, which is preformed for this purpose and chosen by God to successfully meet the spiritual need on earth and to bless the people through his ministry. Amen.